Historical Society of the Courts of the State of New York, all 1,140 students at the Bard High School Early College Schools in New York City spent their first week of school exploring the meaning of justice, the rule of law, and the role of the courts. Students dissected and debated ancient texts and contemporary case law, trying to define justice and what is needed to create a just society. Writing and Thinking is a workshop that takes place in the first, during the first week of school, um, and all the students are given an anthology full of articles and different pieces of work that, has, that center around a theme. And this year, the theme is justice. I learned a lot about justice um, during this Writing and Thinking. Um, one of the first texts that we read was about the Ring of Gaijis that is in Plato's Republic. And the uh, definition of justice that Glaucon, one of the characters that Plato describes in his The Republic, is, you know, challenged my understanding of what justice was. Because I always thought of justice as something defined by morals or values and uh, Plato describes it or Glaucon describes it as something that's just a compromise between conflicting opinions and conflicting ideas. We read uh, a small part of the Bible and about um, Adam and Eve and about Noah's Ark and we had an entire class debate about whether God was being just or unjust and I thought that was really that was a really interesting debate for me because um, we got into like divine justice and if, if God is always just then we can't really have that debate but then we kind of discussed it and I had never really given uh, how just God was any thought but um, after reading those parts and after having a debate um, it, was, it was really interesting to just explore that. Six classes of BSEC students, 150 students in all four grades took their exploration of justice to the New York State Courts. Visiting the civil and criminal courts in Manhattan and Queens, students learned firsthand about the important role played by the courts in a civil society. It was really exciting because we got to go to, you know, the Supreme Court of, you know, New York State, and then we got to actually sit in on a case where, you know, a man stole a car and he just so happened to have heroin in it, and we got to sit down in the case and actually watch how, you know, the system works and how it works with its criminals and you know how judges have to hear from both sides of opposing cases which I thought was really interesting because um, throughout writing and thinking Dr. Maisie has had us go on two different sides and then have a group of judges for different matters in the judicial system. It was really incredible because I've been on trips like that with schools before and you get like a nice tour of the building usually and it's fun and then you leave but we actually got to watch trials and arraignments and got spoken to by a judge and it was really you know what was going on and there was no it wasn't meant for tours but we were able to watch and so there's no other way to get a better feel for the justice system than to see it in action. Students examined the US and New York State constitutions Supreme Court opinions, and other writings to explore the meaning of justice as applied to today's issues, from same-sex marriage, to immigration, to intellectual property, to religious freedom. Students gained a new understanding of the rule of law and their role in creating a just society. The courts, they want to, don't want to interfere too much in people's lives, but if someone does commit a crime, they want to be there to serve just punishment and help people who are affected by the crime. I would say that justice is more the just treatment decided by a higher authority. And when I think about justice, I, I flash back to the Bill of Rights and to the Constitute and uh, the amendments in the Bill of Rights. I, I find, and especially with the first 10, and I just see how differently they're interpreted today from when they were first created, especially with um, freedom of speech. It interests me how the judge has so much power in a case. Even, like you would think the lawyers have a lot of power, but really the lawyers can only do what the judge allows. The lawyer or the defense attorney and the prosecutor can both object to anything that they want to object to, but it's up to, up to the judge whether he wants to sustain it or, overrules it or overrule it. So that was, that really interests me.
when we actually delve into it, you see that there's so much more to it. Like, we talked about prisons, and you're like, oh, prison's a prison, and then it's like, should we treat the prisoners, you know, like they're animals because they've committed a crime, or should we treat them fairly and try to make them normal members of society when they leave? And it's all these questions where it's not really a black or white answer, and you never really think about it because they're so subjective, and you realize that the government's made up of people, people like us who also have to decide what the law is going to be and like how it's going to be performed, and it's something you don't think about too much until you're asked, well, how would you deal with this?